as hot water is being made in the background as I'm making this video. I wanted to go ahead, and it, it, this is going to be very brief. This is not going to be a long video, I promise. Um, I realize since, um, I want to say, what, August, or was it July, so many of you have been talking to me so much about Cosmic Fury and asking me, are you going to watch? Am I going to see it? And I cannot wait for a review of it um, that you're going to do and everything. And I am going to do it. Don't that, that, like this is the, this is the review. But I'm going to let you know right now. Even after watching all 10 episodes, the question that still has not been answered is, is the one that I still ask. And that question is, how does a space-themed rangers work with dinosaurs in it. Now, I realize that after saying that, um, this, it always refers back to what Lankara said um, with his review about how Power Rangers likes to take different types of things and makes it work because it's Power Rangers, anything, anything goes. While that is an ongoing thing, and don't get me wrong, it is. I mean, for Ninja Storm, for for example, you got like like what Linkara said, the Green Ranger with a John Brown guitar for a uh, for a weapon, and then there's Mighty Morphin dealing with the fact that you've got it's dinosaur themed. But then as the, you know, uh, the seasons go on, the Zords changed and then went to ninjas and then went to uh, uh, ninja aliens, you know, um, despite what I just said. Now, despite that, I'm not going to sit here and lie and say that I didn't enjoy this because I honestly did. I did. I... Despite the fact of my grievance the, with the fact that Q Ranger got shunned, right? Even though some of the Zords made it in. I genuinely. I didn't mind this, this, uh, series. I didn't mind Cosmic Fury at all now does that mean I don't have problems with it no I mean personally I still would have liked for them to at least change the visors of the hell of, of the ranger suits even though this was a completely different design and they were still going with the dinosaur theme so they couldn't just do that which I, okay that makes sense but It's it's just it's just like a, a, the aesthetic. I I I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's just me nitpick, nitpicking, me being stubborn and, and biased or whatnot. But with that being said, um, this was the last Ranger series um that they were supposedly going to do. After that, um. There's been a lot of talk saying that they were going back to square one, which is fine. Back to where it all started, which was Mighty Morphin. And while, honestly, that's the best route they can honestly take, one thing needs to come into play here. We need more um, series like Cosmic Fury. Now we are... 
you just said what now? Hear me out. This was a 10 episode series. If you really think about Mighty Morphin and all the other Ranger shows, those episodes are at least 40 to 50 plus with episodes. And a lot of those episodes have a lot of fluff. For those of you who, 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 are, who are Power Rangers fans, you know what I'm talking about. The episodes where, you know, it was really dragging, you know what I'm saying? And it's just, gets to be a bit goofy and cheesy at times. And then, but, but when it hits home for like the actual story, that's where people really, really watch and remember. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And it, it's not anything too far-fetched. It's not anything that like, people haven't talked about there, there are lots of people who have talked about the fact that power rangers has the tendency to, to like go on with silliness instead of just focusing on the actual story from time to time this this series didn't do that cosmic fury did not do cosmic fury had a point they stuck with that point and they went home with it and went in a route com completely different than what I what I had expected. And honestly, I'm happy that they did that. Shoot, I'm I'm more so happy that they made the Peak Ranger turning into becoming the leader make sense. Spoiler alert for those of you who have not watched the series yet. After um Zato, you know, becomes a Morphin Master. Well, well on, is on the brink of becoming a legit Morphin Master to replace the one that, that got destroyed by Zed. It would only make sense, you know, for the uh, for her to become Red Ranger, especially in this in this series, how she was always keeping a level-headed. Uh, mindset, how she wasn't, you know, uh, 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 quarreling with the team, and how they all, they, they, none of them really, except for the Six Ranger, because he had concerns about Zato. None of them, none, none of the the, uh, the Rangers, had much of a problem with her being to taking lead, and that, and I, 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 I appreciate that. I actually enjoy that. That was actually a good thing. You know that there was no conflict compared to how Samurai was with the with the the fe with, with that female Red Ranger who they just shunned because it wasn't their uh uh the a uh, uh, leader even though she didn't do anything wrong. What they did with the Blue Ranger, um, I didn't mind. Of course, naturally, I, I, I kind of you know wasn't with them dragging of dragging him being you know evil till like the last episode where you know the statue of where, where his powers had you know consist of finally got destroyed and he finally started to wake up and everything and it's just like okay okay but you know what I did enjoy the moments where him and Zed had had, had a talk and then him remembering the conversations that him and Lord Zed had. That was... Having Lord Zed be relatable... I, I, I didn't mind that at all. I actually I actually didn't mind that. I'm glad that they put that in. I'm I honestly glad they did something with Lord Zed than having him just being there. You know? Um, what else? Oh yeah, the stuff with, um, um, what was her name? Um, Izzy and her girlfriend, and her always being, and her being concerned with, uh, you know, her well-being and her safety. And it wasn't toxic. Again, breath of fresh air. Enjoyed it. En enjoyed that too, especially with her being becoming the orange ranger because she went to help um um what's her face sorry i had to um um 
abruptly uh, uh, to do some reflection. Um, yeah, uh, I didn't have a problem with that. They made sure it makes sense, and then explained it afterwards. Like, okay, cool, fine. I I don't have a problem with that either. Um. Now this is where, that this is where um, I am kind of sad because with this being supposedly the last season, the very last season of like continuing on with 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 Power Rangers tradition, the fact that they literally confirmed that Zordon's consciousness is within the morphing grid. And it's, it has just been there the entire time. I... I wish they could do something with that. Something even more with that. The fact that, like, he was more pow he was powerful enough to have Lord Zed stay in this nightmarish, uh, um, funny situation with him dealing with Rita... Um, his wife was just poetic and but then you know him not even revealing but he's low-key making himself be existing in the, in, in the morphing grid and then the morphing masters not knowing anything about him even being in the morphing grid is very alarming because how could they not know that Lord Zed is within the morphing grid? If they are aware of everything else, how would they... <laughs> it, it it puts the premise on Zordon being more than just this intergalactical being and more so this entity that is that 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 honestly was more powerful than what we expected and this makes me want to read the comics because if this touches base on how powerful Zordon is then they could do something with that they they should do something with that more than than what has been done already but i digress the stuff with billy was great the stuff with billy was great him reversing his team was great. The the Megazords coming in, the uh, the um, the OG um, Mighty Morphin Megazord, the freaking um, well the, uh, the the Dino the Dinosaur Megazord, uh, the Mega Voyager coming in, the freaking uh, 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 what was the other one? The Galactic the, the the um Lost Galaxy Megazord coming in. Well, um, I think I think it was Beast Morphers, the Beast Morphers Megazord that came in, and then it was Ninja Steel Megazord that came in. All those Megazords coming to aid them, and in the last minute, that, that I thought that was great. I thought that was great. That was I thought that was a nice touch. Oh, but let's not talk about the fact that they not only had a Ranger, presumably the Black Ranger lose lose his lose his arm and then keep his um aesthetic arm can we get more of that please in power in the in, in future power ranger shows like for 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 rangers making sacrifices like that and them coming to terms with the uh, uh, with that you know what what they have to live with now i think i thought that was great especially the fact that that the um his morphing sequence um blended in with his arm like 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 his robotic arm was, was still you know um there but he was still in range of yes more of that please more of uh, of references to the chrono rangers aesthetic yes yes please and thank you i i i'd i'd appreciate it very much other than that I honestly enjoyed this. I can't say that I had an issue with this at all. I can't really say that. And if I said any more, that, 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 that would be nitpicking. That would be just nitpicking. 
I'll leave that to Linkar when he makes his review about it, which we will be reacting to with the lot with the Ryder brothers. But um, overall, this series was an eight out of ten for me. And well, eight or nine out of ten. It was great. It, it, it was honestly, it it was fine for a Power Rangers series. It was just fine. For it was nice and compact. It it hit at the points where it needed to be hit. Yes. References to, to, to Rangers in the past, yes. Wrapping in a nice little bowl, actually doing something about Zordon, yes. And overall, just not killing Lord Zed, yes. Great, perfect, fine. Everything is as it should be. I'm fine with it. In that sense, that is going to be it for this video. I told you it was going to be short. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Um, let me know what y'all think about this in the comments down below. What do you think about the series? Have you watched it? Y'all yeah, have watched it already because y'all been asking me to watch it. Let me know what y'all thought about it down below. This has been Master of Sakurai. I'll see y'all again next time. I love y'all. I'm out. Peace.